Good evening, fam, and happy Monday. Our latest will be about Zuma and the discussions around Cape Independence, Cape Town Independence. Let's follow up on that. For a long time, the debate about Cape Independence keeps popping up. Allegations are that DA and other wealthy people want to colonize Cape Town after 2024 elections. That's if they get majority votes for them to effect those changes. Over the weekend, Zuma addressed this issue. In his address, he said provinces must be cut down from 9 to 4, Eastern Cape and Western Cape must merge. According to his analysis, cutting down provinces to 4 will ensure natives are still in control of Cape Town and Cape Town independence will not happen. Listen to his detailed address in the next slide and let us know of your take regarding what he said. And that's all we have for now. Thank you so, so much for tuning in. I'll see you again in the next update. Bye. Manje nine. Manje, now we go figure out if we can enlarge or move Israel up. So Sarah Tina, no eight. Woman, get to find out if we can match or if we can pull. We find out if we can get. He never said to look at the size of our province. Go four. Even as a tool. So that when I be corner in Western Cape and Eastern Cape, we be saying Tatiami Cape. We are calling your tones. Because le a corner, he or the ends would be calling the party. A la paya, a pattern, you don't pay. You look at it. You see Tata with Israel out there. Uma says it Western Cape and the Eastern Cape come together. We've got one province and the majority corner. Eu fiquei lá, de lá disso. Me diz agora. Ei, de colunista político, me não colunista bem do que é, não não fui cá, não vá, não colunista de tal coisa.